Uh, this hearing will come to order. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, if confirmed, you will lead an agency that has the most challenging and complicated issues pending since the Telecommunications Act of 1934. Um, I don't say this lightly, obviously. The decisions the Federal Communications FCC makes under your leadership, should you be confirmed, and then I'll stop saying that. Uh, the future of the nation's telephone network, public safety, the wireless industry, broadcasting, the internet, and consumer protection are at stake for years to come. Of all the pending issues before the Commission, the current proceeding and one uh, future rulemaking are of utmost importance uh, to me personally. The incentive auction proceeding will create the revenues to fund a nationwide interoperable public safety network. Uh, I feel so strongly about this, and I have ever since September 11th, 2001. And before that, really, when we went into Kuwait, none of the branches of the service could talk to each other. It's a mammoth undertaking, and I understand that. The E-Rate program has connected millions of school children to the Internet, exposing them to the transformational power of information in extraordinary ways, not all of which are very helpful, which takes you anything from distracted driving to the, you know, the moral character of, the, um, of our generations coming up. As I called for several months ago, and the President, uh, more importantly, said in his recent remarks in North Carolina, the FCC can help make sure that our schools and libraries can meet the data and connectivity needs necessary for today and for the future. Updating the E-rate program to meet the needs of the 21st century is necessary for our children and our national competitiveness. Seeing the culmination of these two initiatives as my highest priority, obviously I hope it will be yours as well too. Uh, too much is at stake in these proceedings not to get them right. If the sheer magnitude and complexity of these issues were not enough, you face an agency that has become increasingly polarized and politicized. Some even question its relevance in a digital age. But I think the agency is more relevant and important uh, than ever. At its core, the FCC is a regulatory agency, 34 Communications Act so said. I believe that too many have forgotten that the agency's fundamental responsibility is the regulation of communications networks. These regulations serve important policy goals. You cannot have universal service without regulation. You cannot ensure competition without regulation. You cannot have consumer protection without regulation. Let me be clear, Er. Even as communications networks evolve and technology advances, the FCC's mission uh, does not. The rules and regulations that we have in place now may not be the rules that we need for the future, but that certainly does not mean that we should not have any, as so many in the industry seem to advocate and some of our colleagues do uh, also, which I, and I understand that. I think we can all agree that the rules of the agency need to adopt uh, should conditions change, evolve, so that every American, no matter where, has access to broadband. That's so easily said and um, so easily avoided by all forms of those undertaking it. Promises made, promises not kept. That's the pattern that I have found that I'm sure, no, I can't speak for Senator Thune, but any rural state finds that um, there's a deficit of attention. The rules the agency needs to adopt should guarantee that every child in America can harness the power of the Internet and to do it safely. The rules the agency needs to adopt should empower consumers with the information they need to make informed choices. The rules the agency needs to adopt should continue to create the conditions for job creation, innovation, and investment. The FCC, under the leadership of Chairman Janikowski, made a progress on achieving these goals, but an awful lot of work remains to be done. New challenges will emerge. As I advised Chairman Janikowski, the FCC chairman must be more than the arbiter of industry interests. And they're very, very effective in making their cases, exclusively for them, not necessarily looking at the broader good. Bottom line, characteristic truism 
long history. You must use the vast statutory authority to advocate for the public interest, 34 Communications Act. All, and the consumer, also the parent and the student. All those without an army of advocates to lobby on their behalf. We are consumed about here, about people that come to visit us representing wireless this and wireless that, and what about white spaces, and what about, you know, megahertz band, whatever. Um, and that's fine, because they're a big part of the puzzle. But what is the goal? The goal is to provide access for and protection to the people who use this and those who are not using it who should be using it, in my judgment. You will bring to the job a long history and distinguished career in the communications industry. As a pioneer in the cable and wireless industries, you have been instrumental in the growth of both of these critical sectors. As an entrepreneur, you built businesses and created jobs. Most importantly, you understand the power of technology, how it has already transformed our lives and how it will continue to do so each day. In closing, your career is one of innovation, leadership, and public service. I believe that as chair of the FCC, you can use your experience and skills to harness the vast, vast power of the FCC. Not shy away from it, but harness it. Use it. Use it to spur universal deployment of advanced technologies, foster growth and innovation, and protect consumers. Thank you.